Hi, this is uh, my Mongoose and Snake Drag Race set. Um, I found this in my um, What's in the Box 3 and 4 video. And uh, if you haven't seen that, you can go back and take a look at it. It's not that long. Uh, what we're doing is we're just checking to make sure that the contents um, listed on the box is what came in the box. I don't have room to really set this stuff up in my house the track sets uh, plus with you know dogs running around um, they'll get excited and they'll trample over it okay so um, <clears throat> let's take a look and see what the contents are in the back and we'll just compare uh, some of the stuff that came in this when it was packed up and shipped to me because it was an eBay purchase uh, the person put it in bubble wrap to protect everything and uh, some things I'm going to keep in the bubble wrap because we can tell what it is and uh, it just be a lot easier when I have to pack this back up uh, also if you would like to get some information on the two racers you can uh, pause uh, on this and read that um, verbiage uh, this set is copyrighted 1969 69 so it came out in 70 it's a two-lane set with a loop came with the cars we'll show you those and we're going to take a look at the contents okay so we have a hot wheels mongoose duster check we have a hot wheels snake barracuda check we have two matching wheel collector's buttons. Check. And double check. Okay. All right. Start gate with tripper. That's what this is right here. All right. I don't want to take it out of the bubble wrap, as I mentioned. Leave that in there for the time being. Finish gate with automatic flag. Here's the finish gate with the flag. So we'll leave that in there. Uh, two daredevil loops. Here are the loops. Um, back in the old days, you used to get these and you used to take the long track and flip it around and attach it to either end. All right, so these are the loops right here. And I would like to leave these in here, okay? But it was all one piece, if you can see here, and you just take one two foot strip of track and you just go around and attach it. That's all you need to do. Uh, two brake traps, four drag chutes. All right, here's the two brake traps. All right, these work, one, two. It says four drag chutes, but I'm only finding two. All right. We have a universal clamp. Again, we know what these look like, so I'm not going to take this out. We have 32 feet of hot strip track. Uh, I'm guessing this is the right amount. Uh, this is a dime a dozen, basically, to pick this up. So even if it's short or too much, that's okay. I have some extra. Uh, universal clamp we showed you. 12 joiners. Here's my joiners. Uh, I'm not going to count. I'm not worried about it. International collector's catalog. Did not get one with the set. So I do not have an international collector's catalog with this set. Um, I do have the instructions. The layout's supposed to look like a list of the uh, the pieces. And tune-up tips. Pause there, let you read that. And to assemble the the trap and shoot.
Okay. And then we have the Nobody's Perfect card in case there was something damaged or missing from the set. This buyer could send this in. Okay. Uh, closer look at the cars. Uh, put this down. These have windshields. You can kind of see in there. There is a windshield. They have the stands here to put it up. This has, let's see if this will, the closed hubs, the solid hubs, the, uh, the axle's not pointing through. Red line wheels on these, whereas on the wheelie funny cars for the Snake and Mongoose uh, set, there are no red line stripes on the rear slicks. That's the only um, red line era cars that do not come with it. It also has the back windshield. Okay, so there is the uh, funny car. It has the, uh, I believe, all the correct stickers placed on it. And then here's Don Perdomes. Front and rear windshield in plastic. Because back in the late 70s, they took the plastic out. It's all, you know, passed through. Again, solid hubs. The axle does not poke through the hubs. Looks like it has all the stickers. Pretty good shape. And the cars themselves, they look like they're in good shape. I only see like a few nicks here and there, but they're not really scuffed up. I know that the wheels don't have a lot of chrome on them. So whoever, you know, uh, had this uh, probably just raced it down the track or didn't take it outside or damaged them with a lot of other cars. So kind of got lucky uh, with that. And uh, but racing them down the track when it hits the side of the track that tends to scrape the uh, the silver off the wheels. Um, so, um, but in any case, that's it. And these cars they do have a little bit of uh, suspension. So let's put it up on here a little bit. The snake car more than this one. Roll straight. All right, so the wheels are pretty good. Um, I think it's kind of neat where you have a car with an opening body and it goes around the double dare loop. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, but in any case, uh, that's it for this video. Any comments, questions, suggestions? Uh, please let me know and you can leave comments in the space below and if you would like to subscribe to my videos if you haven't already please look up to the top left at the end of the video and you can subscribe and if I would love to hear from uh, you again and uh, like to hear what you all think uh, please have a good weekend take care and I hope you enjoyed it